Hello everyone, my name is Lanto90 and welcome back to Let's Play Diablo 1. So Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Check all the people again, see if they have a quest. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. They haven't for a while because the catacombs are like it's not too bad. The catacombs are like uh, all the quests were like inside the catacombs themselves. That's pretty good. For a bow. I wish I had a sword that was like that. This ring. F six all attributes. Mm. Oops. Two tall attributes. Kind of curious which one will show up as worth more. Ring of Truth or any of the guys you mean? Greetings! Oh, it's it. always a pleasure to see one of my best customers. I know that you've been venturing deeper into the labyrinth, and there's a story I was told that you may find worth the time to listen to. One of the men who returned from the labyrinth told me about a mystic anvil that he came across during his escape. His description reminded me of legends I had heard in my youth about the burning Hellforge, where powerful weapons of magic are crafted. The legend had it that deep within the Hellforge rested the Anvil of Fury. This anvil contained within it the very essence of the demonic underworld. It is said that any weapon crafted upon the burning anvil is imbued with great power. If this anvil is indeed the Anvil of Fury, I may be able to make you a weapon capable of defeating even the darkest lord of hell. Find the anvil for me, and I'll get to work. Sounds good. Well, what can I do for you? It's a crappy bow. The truth is worth less than an Azure That's kind of what I thought. I think I'm going to turn on the put on the Azure Ring. I have the Ring of Truth. Be careful not. I saw the wrong one, did I? Everything got reassorted. Putting it on. Whoa! What can I do for you? I'm not gonna risk messing it up. Best attack two through ten. That's a good ass bow. Checking the basic items at all at this point anymore. Mm -hmm. Faster hit recovery is starting to get tempting. It's a lot of dexterity. Uh, damage. Six for fifteen. To use my spells on that last dungeon, so that was nice. Quite a bit more manageable than the one before it. What ails you, my friend? Fellow drinking peace? I want to talk to Deckard Kane about the uh, Hellforge. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. Griswold speaks of the Anvil of Fury, a legendary artifact long searched for, but never found. Crafted from the metallic bones of the Razor Pit demons, the Anvil of Fury was smelt around the skulls of the five most powerful magi of the Underworld. 
carved with runes of power and chaos. Any weapon or armor forged upon this anvil will be immersed into the realm of chaos, embedding it with magical properties. It is said that the unpredictable nature of chaos makes it difficult to know what the outcome of this smithing will be. Hopefully it's a good weapon <laughs> that I can wield. I don't know if I talk to him. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Good day. How may I serve you? Psst, over here. Please, you'll get something new. I'm almost tempted to buy it just to clear it out. It's a bad item. It's a lot of hit points, I know, but I don't really care. <laughs> So we were looking at that new sword. Well, what can I do for you? I don't know. Which one was it? This one, sort of precision. <clears throat> That's three levels worth of dexterity. And a decent base damage. Well, then I'll risk it. Just put both in my inventory so I can see like what Whoa, their what can I do for you? cell values are. Yeah, it's the same. This sword of precision is way better. I don't know though. Thirteen through thirty-three. Get to that. So bad. That's only four damage less to bring my to hit chance up to 93. Plus uh, four more armor class. We finally Whoa, replaced our sword here. Whoa! What can I do for you? Whoa, can I do for you? New, new item to replace it too. Actually, not too bad either, even though this is a cap. Talk to the witch. She should have a quest soon. Might be triggered by going in the cave first, though. Might not be triggered through her. <clears throat> I sense a soul in search of answers. I do like mana shield, but since I have like boosted my mana up really high, I probably shouldn't do that. Would be uncool. Oh, you have a book of fireball. I think I'm gonna buy it. Firebolt level four. Did I say firebolt level four? Nah. You mean Fireball level 15, right? Oh, yeah, that's what I thought. Level 15. Again, they're just for, just for the range of enemies. The guys that run away. I can't catch. I 
think I did talk to everyone that time. So I get a quick save and go. Alright, so we do slightly less damage. We hit quite a bit more. Oh, Jesus Christ, what are these? I don't remember those things. These big red guys? Great. These spitting ones, they have they have spit that produces creep where it hits. Kind of prefer that not. Okay. I did grab that one item. I took. Which one was it? Was it the sword? No, it's this new ring. It has 22% lightning resist. So that actually helps us out. Magic and fire resist is down. Actually, it scared me a little bit. That was what was doing so much damage to me as I was standing in creep. This isn't too bad though, overall, compared to... I'd rather be fighting things that are tough on their own merits by just being high damage or something than, uh, than the things that just run away. Here's our path up to town through the caves, which is awesome. We should have chain mail by now, but <laughs> this is not working out that way. You're supposed to kind of get to chain mail uh, in the uh, catacombs. You get plate mail towards the end of this, of this uh, area. Now these, now we're not in such cramped quarters, these uh, illusionist guys are a little bit more annoying. I haven't really been paying too much attention if we're actually hitting more often than we were. Kind of just hoping that we are. Fuck these guys. You guys are swiftly becoming the new... The new range things. Uh -oh. Uh oh I don't know how to 
fight him. Like, I need a doorway, but it's not gonna matter if I have a doorway because they have ranged attacks too. Corners work a little bit. I take back about what Jesus fucking Christ. Maudi. Okay, those guys now fall within the category of things that get killed by spells. I've never seen those guys. <laughs> I don't remember those guys at all. I don't know why. They must have been like new with an update. Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty. God have mercy. What ails you, my friend? Give me healing first, please. Yeah, I'm I'm not gonna put up with those guys. If they were no that one this one. Drink it and then... What ails you, my friend? That was not okay. Wow. Remember them. <laughs> I'm serious. I don't remember them, and I certainly don't remember them being that kind of numbers. <sighs> Jesus, fuck. Just one, I don't care. That's fine. If they were only ranged, then they would easily fall into the category of this spell. But they're not just ranged, so they're melee also, which is bad. And their shots shoot through each other. So they can line up in big stacks and all shoot at the same time. There's no good doors here, all these, uh... All those... All those fences are... There's a couple of you here. Those fences, they can shoot through those. These guys are shooting creep under me too. Can't even get to you guys. Yeah, they can shoot me, so that's that's fair. about being out, man. See, yeah, I took a mana potion. That's all I did.
skin, y'en a que, y'en a que, y'en a que. You can't tell me that was fair. I, I really think that this game was like play tested up to like halfway through the catacombs and they're like, okay, that's that's good enough. The rest of it's probably just fine. Let's just go. I'll do that so. Or mana up since you can't apparently restore what it. Anyway. You, my friend? But yeah, I think they just play tested it to like halfway and then stopped. It's probably balanced. Hello, my friend. Stay a while and listen. This doesn't happen in Diablo 2. It's kind of like the point I want to make here. What can I do for you? It seems like they just decided they're not going to restock their stuff anymore. I guess because they cheated. Uh... But yeah, this doesn't happen in Diablo 2. In Diablo 2, everything's pretty much a steady difficulty. Except, like, between X1 and 2, it kind of gets kind of really hard for some reason. There's also one special monster in, uh, in like the final area of uh, the hell level of Diablo 2. That does a disproportionately high amount of damage compared to all the other monsters. speed is really high too once I get in melee range. Which is fair. I really don't remember those lightning guys. They might just be like one zone characters. Maybe that's why Rest I don't peace, my friend. Okay, there's the guy who drops the plate mail. Can't wear. So yeah, we just it depends on what it is, of course. What is our armor even doing? It's just extra armor. It might be part of why we're sucking is we just haven't had any good armor. Again, I'm not convinced it's my fault. Oh, here's a mushroom patch. This is the quest of one of the quests I, I was can't thinking. use this yet. Oh. Well, that doesn't make sense. Oh, fungal tongue. That didn't do anything. I can't use this yet. Okay, 
Mountains. Oh no, I'm confused. I guess I have to go back to town and talk to, uh... I think it's like... I think you talk to Cain and then I think he tells you to go talk to the witch. Yeah, those guys double attack when they get in close. It's really annoying. Because it gets you stuck and then you can't attack, attack them. I think I might have thought of a solution to their BS, though. I don't know if I can change it, though. No, I can't. Never mind. I was going to see if I could change my resistances, and I'd, I'd put lightning resistance up to max, and then I wouldn't have to worry about those guys anymore. Because then I could treat them like melee monsters. I have no problem with... Like I said, though, I, maybe I do remember them. I think they might just be one zone. At least in that kind of quantity. Alright. Oh, these guys suck dick. Anyway, I can collect that ring without going through the portal. Oh, oh, thank you. That's what I wanted to do. For sure. Alright. Whoa! What can I do for you? Uh, not you, actually. I'm gonna talk to Deckard Kane first so I can sell Hello, him stuff. my friend! Stay a while and listen. The magic to inform me. Dexterity. The strength. Six times four. It's like twenty-four. And I think I can. That only gives eight. The fast hit recovery is kind of nice, though. I think this might be good enough to offset their armor class loss. And yeah, it is. Honestly, not, not a whole lot more. But hey, look at our sprite. We have freaking badass armor. And a shield for some reason. Yeah, only the armor affects the sprite in this game, other than what weapon you're wielding, or, or if you even have a shield at all. Routine to magic. Nah, Whoa, what can I do for you? Valiant armor, you put up a valiant fight, but not gonna cut it anymore. Ring of power, it's the one ring. Hey, this is resorted a little bit. It might be actually new stuff in here. Mm, like it might be the same, actually. Uh, J Cap of M is actually starting to get interesting. The resistance trouble we're having right now. Gives a vitality boost that's close to this one's. There's a trade off of armor. Whoa, what can I do for you? I think it might be worth it. Oh, I don't even have enough money in my inventory right now. Go pick up more. I don't think we ever want to replace our amulet, right? Yeah. It's like two levels in every stat. Whoa! What can I do for you? I'm gonna lose a little bit of 
tiny bit of health and a bit of armor, putting on this cap. But the resistances jump up, lightning resist goes up to 50, and the other ones are 25. It looks 27, technically. You know what I mean. Wow, what can I do for you? Let's talk to all the people and then we'll what call the episode you, there. Friend? It's awesome that we're finally wearing... Fellow drinking peace? Plate mail. Completely skipped out on chain mail. I already did talk to Kane. Greetings, good master. Welcome to the Tavern of the Rising Sun. Good day. How may I serve you? Short finally have the best armor in the game. Now that I went and bought a bunch of stuff and know how much money left. Psst, over here. Hmm. I can actually afford it by like. It is, like, exactly the situation I was talking about, almost. If I bring this menu down, I'm gonna not have enough money to buy it, because I have to pay them 50, 50 gold to look at it. Indestructible doesn't really matter. That, that's overrated, that just means there's no durability on it. 20 armor, though, is another story. Uh, it's only eight more than this. No, it's not worth it. No deal, work. Should have brought that up eight hours ago. <laughs> I probably would have bought it. Hell, I probably would have brought it like 30 minutes ago because I didn't have this plate mail. It's actually not plate mail, it's just a breastplate. Plate mail comes later. I thought I was gonna drop some of gold, I guess. Although, something to be said for keeping it in case she has a spell. I'm not sure what spell's the best spell, though. What shield am I using? Okay, we do have a decently sized shield. What do we have here? Interesting. It looks like a book of reagents. Keep your eyes open for a black mushroom. It should be fairly large and easy to identify. If you find it, bring it to me, won't you? Okay. Oh, I need to sell set. It's a big black mushroom that I... I sense a soul in search of answers. Inferno, Firewall, Flame Wave, Phasing. One more Inferno. I sense a soul in search of answers. Got a book for me? Chain Lightning. Yes, please. Ah, oh, it's gonna be almost all my gold, I don't care. There's a cheat code for more gold. <laughs> if I absolutely have to have it. Because in the long run, this is just to deal with the freaking bullshit. That they're dealing, making me deal with here.
Chain Lightning. Level 15. MLG Pro. Pew pew pew. Alright, that should kick some ass. But uh, now we're out of time for this video. I hope you all enjoyed and have a good day.